everyone, welcome to my channel. I just got a new car and I really wanted to show you the ins and outs of it, why I really like it and it works really well for me and how I get my wheelchair in and out of it because I no longer have a van. I used to have a Volkswagen Rutan with a ramp and I am trying to sell that right now and I just do this differently. I completely take the wheelchair apart and put it in my car and so I'm gonna bring you kind of along for the ride. First off, I'm gonna get a car wash and then we'll go ahead and take a look on the outside. Stay tuned. out I wanted to kind of show you the inside and maybe record as much as possible of what I do taking the wheelchair apart and taking it out um, yeah so we'll start with the door <laughs> settings for the chair and for setting one I went ahead and did the setting for me driving and then for setting two, I have it for taking the wheelchair apart. So I just push two and this all starts doing its thing. The back goes down. So that's my favorite part about that. Um, it's got a brake hold so that the brake stays put when I'm at a stop sign or a stoplight so that I can take my hand off of the um, the hand control and I always just throw my purse here I'm borrowing a wheelchair right now because my wheelchair is getting uh, repainted and everything so I need the pillow for that wheelchair and then I went ahead and got these cute little guys to hang my purse on when I have someone riding with me it does have a beautiful sunroof that doesn't leak water like the van does. So I have this all the way down so that I can so that I can lay down. And when I go and reach, I I reach under for that handle. And that's what I use to grab the wheelchair and bring it down on the ground. Okay, so this is what is in my door. This is a coaster I got. It's actually like clay. Um, it's really nice. I guess it absorbs liquids. These are extra mint gums. I enjoy those. They're little squares. And then I got this pack of gum. There's a bunch in there. And then I keep money. I had a couple 20s in there, used them up this month, but I will put some more change in there so that if I ever forget my debit card or just need some cash, I have some. I apologize if this comes out blurry, but my favorite part about this door is if I want to have my money in there, it goes all the way back. Super cool so that people can't see it. Okay, so to bring you around the car, here I've got my lip gloss and chapstick. That might be the that might be the shade. I have no idea. And then a bird's bees pomegranate. So the theme for my car is yellow. So I've got a yellow bandana and. Some sunflowers. This is the other little cozies I got. All off Amazon. Super cute. Okay. 
One really nice thing about this car is it has wireless charging, so that's been a huge help. I do have a cord though to plug it in to play music. These are my keys. So this is the center console. This goes forwards and backwards. Kind of hate it, wish it would just stay in one place, but it's nice if you need it. This lifts up. And it has two center spots. This comes back and then this lifts up. So you have all that room down there. I have so much in here. It's a little ridiculous. Just extra sunglasses, hand sanitizer, I have pens, I have some mace, lighter, some mints. I do have a phone charger. You just plug your phone into that and it charges your phone. Nail filer. I did put the bedazzle around my start button. I just think that's the cutest thing ever. And then for the glove box, that's right here. And there I have quite a few things. I have a sunglasses um, cleaner. Obviously the book it came with. Extra sunglasses, I have headphones, I have some straws and some disinfectant wipes. And then over there is the extra like coffee cards if I go and get coffee somewhere, some WD-40 for my wheelchair and an extra cord for someone who has like an Android or something if they don't have an iPhone. So this is where my purse is when it's just me in the car. And then when I have someone come and ride with me, then I'll just hang it on my little hook. And there's the back seat. I honestly love, love, love the wood. It's so dark and it's such a matte color. I don't think it looks all that fake in person. And I think it looks really well with the black. Hey guys, I'm so sorry, but this is where the voiceovers will start. In this scene, I am just showing you that every time you turn the car on, it will always quickly notify you that the driver is responsible for driving safely and not being distracted by anything that's on the screen or whatnot. Blah, blah, blah. Just notifying you to be safe and keep your eyes on the road. So if your phone is not plugged in, it's just connected with Bluetooth, it's still going to connect to the car, but you will only be able to use like voice commands for texting and calling people. It doesn't connect to like your playlist or Spotify and Pandora. You'll have to plug your phone in with the cord to be able to do that. One nice thing Thing that this car does I've never used it before but you are able to save a numerous amount of phone numbers so that you can easily just click on the name and it will automatically call that person I'm going to go ahead and plug my phone in by doing this it allows a lot of your phone apps to be displayed on the screen like your messages your phone calls music Google Maps things like that so I was nervous my phone was gonna fall, but it didn't, so I'm glad about that. Um, but this is the inside view of me putting together my wheelchair. I turn it kind of sideways to allow it to get through the door a little easier. And then I put it softly down on the ground. For me choosing to go back to a car, I had to know that this is going to be a long-term a decision you know I can't instantly go back to a van when I want to so making this decision took a lot of thought and consideration for me I knew that I was going to be having to put together and take apart my wheelchair every time and have to deal with any of the 
the dirt and um, hardship that came with it, meaning it's just a little bit harder on my muscles, so I needed to continue to stay strong and stay active. But I will say I wanted to do this more than anything, so I made the decision to, and six months later, I am not regretting it. I've already kind of made a couple dents. Maybe some scratches, kind of. Another nice feature about this Honda that I was able to utilize was the back door. You are able to set it to the height that you want it to stop at. So the first button on the left will just open it to your saved setting. And if you ever wanna change that setting, you use the button on the right to hold and it will keep the, the hold of the door where you have it set. So now I will show you everything that I usually keep in the back. Um, so this is the back of my car. I have a cute blanket for picnics or whatever and then the tote bag is for any groceries. I have my gym clothes here that I'm going to use for later when I go work out. Um, I plan on working out after this but uh, my camera case is over there and yeah so let me show you this bottom part covers the the spare tire the jack and a little funnel for if you ever run out of gas and need to use a, a little gas can to pour into your your gas tank it has a little funnel for that in this emergency bag that I have I keep a little bit of everything. So for instance, I have um, catheters and I have, let's see, there are some tampons, some Neosporin with band-aids. I have a little toothbrush, uh, floss, and I have a little makeup brush. And then on the bottom here is like a contact case with solution just in case Halfway through the day, my contacts were really bad and I needed to take them out. Um, Earplugs, if I stay the night somewhere. Like I said, floss. Um, I do have a magic bullet and some gloves just in case, like I said, I stay somewhere and I just forgot one or just needed it. So yeah, there's kind of a rundown of most of the things in there. And there's a four-wheeler. You'll hear him again later. So in the back, I have um, this grocery holder that I won um, a while ago. And you can just put your groceries in it. So let's say you have a big soda bottle or something. It's not going to roll around and end up in the, the very back to where you can hardly even reach it. So I like that. So this is when I really knew I was going to need to do at least one voiceover for this video. It was super windy up there. I definitely did not choose a good place to record this at. I apologize. So this is my Honda CRV. I've always had to carry around a lanyard with my keys on the lanyard so that I didn't always have to reach into my purse to grab it. Um, I just would always hang it up next to my door and grab it before I left. Now I can always keep my keys in my purse. I never have to pull them out because when you go up to the door and put your hand in the door handle, it automatically unlocks and then you can open it. And then when you leave your car and all the doors are closed, once you get a certain distance away from your car, it will automatically lock it wheel up to it at this angle I start with taking my purse off throwing it in the car I gotta take this pillow off put it in I always put both feet in the car put my phone in the little holder right there I scoot up I put my left arm on the top of the car and then my right arm on the chair and then I swing my body inside and so I quickly take my seat cushion off. I roll my chair around to bring it back so that I can put this back down. And then I take one wheel off, turn it around and take the other wheel off. And then I sit up and I put 
both wheels in the car in the back behind the, the passenger seat. And then to lift the seat or get the seat in the car, I rest it on the edge of the car. And then I put my right arm holding the like emergency handle. And then I bring my left arm underneath the wheelchair, grab that bar and haul it up there. And I put it in the back again behind the passenger seat. So here I'm just showing you that when you push the seat one, it's gonna bring it back to a driving position. And then when I get to where I'm at, I push um, seat two or setting two, and then it will bring that seat back to that position so I can get my wheelchair out. And I'm just gonna kinda breeze through this to show you put together from a different angle. I always just bring the seat out first, and then I put both of the tires on, bring the back up, put the seat cushion on, and I'm back in my chair. And this is an overview of the inside. I love the seats. At first, I hated the color of the roof until I learned that the darker the fabric on the inside, the smaller it feels. Um, so I'm just a lot more careful putting the wheels and the wheelchair in the car just so that when I bring the tires in, they're not rubbing up against the roof and leaving dirt marks. So I just try to be as careful with that as possible. Thanks guys so much for tagging along. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And if I have any other things that I forgot to mention, I'll just go ahead and insert them in the middle of this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye. If you can, please leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of video you'd like to see next. Bye.